What's up everybody, Brody here from Soyak Quilting. Today in this tutorial I want to teach you how to make this awesome Inception quilt. Let's get started. First things first, we need to make some half square triangles. As you can see in the quilt there's lots of half square triangles here and the method that I'm going to teach you today teaches you how to get eight half square triangles out of a 10 by 10, two 10 by 10 squares. So what I have here are two pieces of fabric that I'm going to put right sides together that are 10 inch squares. I'm going to lay them on top of each other and I've already marked a few different lines. So what you're going to do is you're going to mark a plus across your fabrics as well as an X. And I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine I'm going to sew a quarter inch line down the X portion of my fabrics here. So I'm going to do that now. So once you get to the end, all you're going to do is lift up your foot, flip around and sew a quarter inch seam on the other side. Now you're going to do the same thing in the other direction. Now that I got my two lines sewn on the diagonal, I'm going to lay them down on top of my cutting mat. And I'm going to cut between the two seams that I've sewn. So lay it down, cut right down the center, and then do the same thing the other direction. Line them right up. Put the ruler down right on top. Now that I've cut my seams apart here, what I'm going to do is finish cutting on the lines that I've already marked. So you can do these multiples at a time by setting them up like this, or you can do them individually, whatever you feel like is more accurate for you. I'm going to set this down like this. Cut those. So there's four, what will be four half square triangles. Same thing here. This will be eight half square triangles. I'm going to iron all of these open right now. All right, I've got all my half square triangles ironed open. What I'm going to do is take a ruler and just square them up to be four and a half inches. All right, so I have my stack of half square triangles done. We're going to move on to the flying geese. These flying geese are super easy to do. I grab my fabrics over here. To do the flying geese, what you need are five and a quarter inch squares and three inch squares. So this is a super easy way to do it. All you're going to do is put one of your three inch squares on top here, just like that in the corner, and another three inch square on the other side, like this. You can mark a line down them, or you can kind of just wing it. I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> now what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of what would be the center of these squares. So I'm gonna sew a line down. Now all you're going to do is lift up your uh, foot, you can cut your thread if you like, lift it up, turn it around, do the same thing just like we were doing on the half square triangles and do repeat. Now we do the same method like we did with the half square triangles. We're going to cut out between the two seams that we've sewn and then we're going to iron these little pieces here open. It'll kind of look like a little heart when you're done. Iron them open. So I'm going to iron these. Now that I have my little heart shaped blocks, what I'm going to do is take another one of these three inch squares and I'm going to set it in the opposite corner. I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam on each side of what would be the center of my square here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Bring it over. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with this extra piece here, but I'm going to show you how this, what, this works. I'm going to now take my ruler again, lay it down on top of the lines that we've sewn, and cut. As soon as we open this up and press it, there's your no waste flying geese. So I'm going to do that to both of these, and we'll be right back. So once you have your flying geese ironed open, what you want to do is trim your fabric where you have a quarter inch above the point of your flying geese. So a lot of people get confused on how to do that. I'm going to show you how here in this video. I hope you can see here on this top view. So what you're going to do is take your quarter inch line on your ruler and set it at the very tip 
of your flying of your point, excuse me. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna set it right at the point. And a lot of rulers have a little white mark. So right here at the point, I'm gonna line the ruler up with the mat and I'm going to trim off the excess fabric here on the edge. So just like this. That way you don't lose any points when you're putting your blocks together. I'm gonna to finish that with the rest of my blocks here, or my uh, flying geese, and we'll come right back. So now we have our half square triangles and our flying geese, we need to finish up our quilt blocks. So as you can see here, we have half square triangles here, we have flying geese here. We need to add in this little piece of fabric onto our flying geese. So all of the cutting instructions are gonna be, as always, in the, in the description below in a PDF. But what we're gonna do is take our fabric that goes against our flying geese, and we're going to set it on top and sew a quarter inch seam. So I'm gonna set this here, and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam. So I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam just like that, I'm gonna iron it open. So now that we have our smaller blocks constructed, we're going to take them and construct our larger block. So each one of these small blocks is four and a half inches square. So I have a center piece that's four and a half inches. What I'm gonna do is take my half square triangles and put them in the corner. Let's see, I want them facing outward. Put them in the corners with the same fabric facing out. So they all should be facing the same position, like this. Then you're going to take your flying geese, you're gonna take them to where the point of the flying geese points towards the center, like so. Just like this. Now I'm gonna take these and start sewing them into rows and making the block. This is how the first block came out. Now that I've got a few blocks put together, what I'm going to do is take them and start constructing my rows. So I'm gonna set them side by side and start sewing them together. I finished my first row, now I'm gonna to continue to add. So just like that, I finished our Inception quilt. This is a super easy project to make once you've learned the different techniques to make half square triangles and flying geese. I'm gonna run this across the building to our in-house long armor to have it quilted. Just to answer a couple questions from our previous videos, yes, we offer long arm quilting services. If you'd like more information about it, please send us a message or give us a call. As always, if you've liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. We're gonna leave instructions on how to make this in the description below. My name is Brody, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you next week at Sew yeah Quilting. I think this one got sewn on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> you hand me a uh, seam ripper, you have one? Technical difficulties on the set. No, if your block looks like this, you've done something wrong. <laughs> Hannah, you can leave that in. It's all good.